So what is a deficiency and how do we correct them? Uh, yeah, so a deficiency is quite literally a lack of that nutrient. So whether it's a vitamin, mineral, or amino acid, a lot of people think, you know, I eat healthy, I'm not deficient in anything. But, you know, what I have to say to that is basically that you're wrong. Statistically, half the population of the entire world, yeah, the whole world, is deficient in multiple nutrients by the time they're six months old. Between the ages of six months and five years old, this half of the world's children are deficient in iron, iodine, vitamin A, folate, and zinc. These deficiencies cause what the CDC refers to as devastating consequences. Iron, for example, is essential in balanced levels in the body for cognitive and motor development from birth. One of the reasons that many children are iron deficient, along with other deficiencies, at or near birth, is due to the deficiency of the mother. Iodine, another extremely common prenatal deficiency, is a crucially important trace mineral needed for proper growth and development of the fetus, especially with relation to hormonal balance and brain development. Maternal iodine deficiency is recognized as the greatest cause of preventable mental impairment in the world, with 38 million newborn babies every year consequently at risk of iodine deficiency, and 18 million babies born yearly with iodine deficiency caused mental impairment. It's estimated that worldwide over 2 billion people do not consume adequate iodine to properly fuel their bodies daily requirements. Vitamin A, a crucial fat-soluble vitamin necessary in the development of your eyes and immune system, is another woefully common deficiency in children and pregnant women, with one in six pregnant women carrying the deficiency and subsequently one in three school-aged children with it as well. Vitamin A supplementation has, understandably, been found to improve important biomarkers in deficient children ages 6 to 59 months old as the deficiencies are overcome. From birth, most of us are already at a disadvantage, and it only gets worse from there, with not only the magnitude to these prenatal deficiencies increasing with age, but also the breadth of different deficiencies increasing as well. Meanwhile, as a population, we continue to feed our kids nutrient void foods and foods rich in anti-nutrients thinking that they're healthy when in fact they're leaching more and more of these precious micronutrients from our youth. Malnutrition and micronutrients are major contributors to the global burden of disease, especially in children and mothers. This undernutrition has been determined a major cause of death and disability in young children. According to research published in the British Journal of Nutrition, there's a need for additional measures to increase the intake of certain micronutrients in children, referencing specifically iron, vitamin A, and iodine, along with zinc, folate, and the other B vitamins, as well as the trace mineral selenium. Micronutrients of all varieties, but especially the prevalent childhood deficiencies such as iodine and selenium, play a central role in the maintenance of metabolism and proper tissue function. So it should come as no surprise that the incidences of metabolic syndrome and the epidemic level health issues such as hypothyroidism continue to rise rapidly every single decade, with an estimated 20 million Americans having some kind of thyroid disease and over 60% of those individuals not even knowing about their condition. Women specifically are up to eight times more likely to develop a thyroid condition than men, and one in eight women globally are predicted to develop some kind of thyroid condition in their lifetime. These statistics are alarming, but we can fix it if we're armed with the right knowledge. Definitely don't go off doing one of those fad diets, though, because fad diets have been found to be one of the leading causes of micronutrient deficiencies around the world. On one hand, as we've discussed, many of us are at a big disadvantage when it comes to nutrient deficiencies either at birth or by the time we're six months old. This is a mixture of a genetic and epigenetic predisposition that we truly can do nothing to control ourselves. It's the hand we're dealt, so to speak. We can definitely improve these prenatal deficiencies by influencing people in our own life, namely the education of mothers and soon-to-be mothers in our friends and family circles. In terms of making an immediate positive impact, educating your friends and family about the importance of micronutrients is critical. The network effect will take care of the rest. The more people know about it, the better.